Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Bug Nice coming at you with the Bandai Tamashi Nations SH Figure Arts Avengers Endgame Iron Man Mark 85 Final Battle Edition Figure Review. Whew. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel Legends. Imports. Many maybe I'm fucking with. High beast we know about. You. Stay buying figs don't know about. Me. Quick look at the artwork on the side of the box. You can see a picture of the figure with a little bit of Photoshop on there. Iron Man Mark 85 down at the bottom. Final Battle Edition. Some Japanese. The SH Figure Arts logo up at the top. And on the opposite side, more of the same. And there's a shot at the front of the package. Let's get this bad boy open and see what's what. All right, here we go. Anthony Stark, a.k.a. Iron Man. And if you are viewing this, it is too late. They done hit me in the head for like 20 some odd Iron Mans over the past 10 years, including three Mark 50s and two Mark 85s here. And we just about to complete our Hall of Armor with Mark 1 through 7. And I've been on board since the very first Iron Man 2 release. And if you're viewing this in order, hopefully you just saw the Avengers Endgame Final Edition Captain America review. So I'm following up here with Iron Man, Avengers Infinity War through Avengers Endgame and some of the most epic storytelling done on screen from the comic book genre ever. Shitting on DC. And they hit us with a multitude of figures based on the characters from these movies over the past 10 years. Iron Man being one of the most integral parts of the story and one of the most popular characters. Of course, he had a lot of figures. So here we are at the end of an era with the final boss battle, final edition, Avengers Endgame, Iron Man. And I think they did a really nice job. For the most part, they always do a good job on the Iron Man armors. This one here is just a little weathered, showing a little bit of battle damage, showing that he's been through some shit. And he had definitely been through some shit by the time uh, the final battle came about in the movie. So I'm going to just roll with the punches here. Uh, he came like this out of the package with what they're calling the nano lightning refocuser effect on here. The Mark 50 and then later the Mark 85 armor was him utilizing some of his nano technology. So he was able to form different weapons and uh, offensive and defensive uh, capabilities from the suit. And a lot of people joke that this was his blue beetle armor. I really like the look of this armor though. I think Mark 50, Mark 85 both looked very clean and have had some really cool features. I went ahead and put the uh, helmeted head on him, even though out of the package he came with the unmasked head. I'll double back to that and then I'll just start swapping on some of the effect parts here and move through this pretty quickly. So out of the package, he comes with the nano lightning refocuser attached and two fists. There's a look at those wrist pegs. The pegs don't move, uh, just the hand moves on those little ball joints, just to be clear. He's got a set of open hands with the fingers slightly spread. He's got a set of open hands with the fingers spread just a bit more than the previous set, but these both have two little pegs in the center of the palm. So these can be fitted with his repulsor blast effect. Same effects we've been getting for 10 years. You can see the energy is sort of concentrated towards the front of the hand, thins out a little bit towards the front of the effect. These are bent a little bit. They've been bent for 10 years. <laughs> It should also be noted that these hands are like fixed and a sort of open upright tilted position so that way uh, you know this uh, sort of pose looks authentic. He's also packed in with a smaller set of repulsor blast. He's got a set of hands that appear to be the same sculpt as the previous set just minus the little peg in the middle. And then his final set of hands are flat with the fingers close together and as you can see these might be good to utilize for some forward facing flight shots. And while I have them in a the flight pose, I might as well go ahead and plug in these uh, booster effect parts, which can be plugged right into the bottom of his feet. You can see a little peg there. And there's a look at that. And while I have this whole apparatus on, let it be known that these parts actually are articulated. They're on a small little ball joint, so you can move those around. And there is a small little attachment that you can remove from here, so that way you can plug in the other effect parts that go on each little extension here. So I'm going to take my time and plug out all of these. It's a pain in the ass to get this out, and it's a very small part. This is the week of tiny parts that you can lose and lose your mind over them. All right, I got them all out. And of course I dropped one, but at least I wasn't near any carpet. If you drop one of these parts in the carpet, just forget about it. 
just throw the figure out. And you have one effect part that can be plugged into each one of these ports. So I'll get all of those in. And that's pretty dope. He's got to get out of his own way though. He could easily shoot himself. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, all of these parts are articulated. They're on a little ball joint so you can hinge them and rotate them a little bit. And this is very cool. And there's everything working in tandem. Can't lie, that looks pretty, that looks fire, that looks pretty dope. I was giving Mafex the uh, the edge with that accessory from the uh, Avengers Infinity War Thor, but uh, SHF is, is uh, showing a muscle here, this is real cool. All right, let's scale it back a bit. So this portion is actually just pegged in uh, to his back. It's easy to remove. I'll take that out. I'll get all those little ports plugged back in. And then I'll show you a couple of more effect parts. And it should be noted that you can close up that port in his back so everything looks finished and clean like so. And then he's packed in with an additional hand that has his uh, energy blade attached to it. So this is all one fixed part and that looks cool. And there's all that working together. And then I think he's got one more effect part and that is his energy shield. And this is all one part too. You can see his little fist through there. So it's just one attachment that you would put on like any one of the other hands. And they did the damn thing on the uh, effects on this guy. A lot of fun factor. A lot of playability with this man. Really, really cool. And I think that's it for effect parts. But I broke out the Tony Stark figure. He's sporting the head that came with the Mark IV Iron Man with the sunglasses. So I could do a comparison with the unhelmeted head that was packed on the, the figure straight out of the package. So here I go doing swaps before I actually put the head on the body that it came with. But there it is. There is the uh, Mark 85 Final Battle Edition head on the Tony Stark body. Now I don't know what they were going for here. I don't know why they didn't give him more battle damage on his face to really show like that last scene where he's about to perish. Uh, you know, he just looks a little red in the face. He looks a little stressed maybe, but he doesn't really look like he's been through a battle. And maybe that wasn't their intention. I don't know. But I think it was a, a wasted or a missed opportunity to not actually give him some battle damage. And that way you can have him for that final scene where he's talking to Pepper and Peter and uh, you know right after he used the gauntlet so and for the record you can actually detach the shield from the front of the fist I didn't realize you could so that's cool and there's a look at those side by side so I think the mark IV unmasked head looks better I still think it looks a little better as far as the likeness is concerned but I will say that you know looking at them side by side he looks sick <laughs> But I would have liked them to put some some blood or some nicks or cuts or something on him. And his hair still looks perfect. Oh, and for the record, I wasn't able to pop this head onto this neck. But it sits on there well enough. And, you know, it doesn't look uh, disproportionate or anything. Although it does seem like the newer Final Battle Edition head is a little larger. He looks bloated. I don't know. And there's a look at the stock head that came with the Tony Stark figure. And there's a look at the other head without the sunglasses that came with the Mark IV Iron Man here on the left and again I do think these are the better heads but you could finesse something with this newer one maybe you could add your own effects to it and there's the uh, final edition Captain America final edition Iron Man both with the unmasked heads and they look okay and going over his articulation real quick so the head and neck are two separate parts they can move separate so you get a very good range of motion on the head and neck you can get his head up for those flying poses and what have you turn them left to right pivot full 360 whatever you want to do on the head no issues there shoulders on a ball joint is hidden on the inside of there so you got to kind of drop it down and swing it in and then you can rotate it there there's also a butterfly joint there is also an upper bicep swivel too and a nice deep uh, double jointed elbow you get a swivel and a hinge on the wrist it's really just the actual fist or open hand or whatever it is that's moving on that peg like i showed you earlier the peg does not actually move upper torso articulation you saw how most of this stuff works anyway you know you might get that gap bitch in the back but it's great for getting the acba flight stand in there you get some lower abdomen articulation you can turn them left to right there as well you get a nice crunch forward and back no issues there drop down method at the pelvis for the legs so you can get them up pretty far and you can uh, move that outward and whatever you want to do rotate on the joint there it rotates at the pelvis and at this joint right here you do get a double jointed knee you get a hinge a swivel and a deep ankle pivot on the foot well it's not deep but it's good and you also get a toe joint very good articulation for iron man 
better than cap all right size comparison time i realized i didn't even go over the deco like that i didn't really uh talk about it that much but this is one of my favorite armors as far as the look is concerned i think i did mention that and it's very clean i mean shf always does a great job on the iron man armors i mentioned that as well you can see the difference here between the mark 85 uh, that was released first on the left and the final battle edition version here in the middle. So it's just a matter of, you know, some weather and some different paint applications that'll make the armor look like it's been in battle. And uh, you can see that even the, um, the chest reactor part is a little dull and dimmed. Same body mold, again, just different paint applications. And that's what, they, <laughs> that's what they've been doing to us for, for 10 years. Hit me in the head for all that money. And that's just Iron Man. And then on the right is the uh, final battle, Captain America with the uh, masked head. And then if you checked out the previous review, you saw me fit Thor with the hammer and lightning effect from the final battle, Captain America and Stormbreaker. So that's what you see here. The Avengers in-game Thor with the final battle, Captain America hammer. And you can see how the big three look together. I've got Thor's legs kind of spread a bit, so he should be standing a little taller. Although, like I've mentioned, I think this Thor still is a little bit on the short side and still taller than the Mafex version, which is weird. A couple of bonuses here. Final Battle Edition uh, Tony Stark head on one of the uh, comedian dude's bodies. I forget the name of the duo, but the comedian duo. Something will be popping up there, I guess. And uh, he looks like he has had a hard day of work. <laughs> Or he's been drinking on the job. And the head doesn't quite pop on there, but it sits on there okay. And one more size comparison and I'm going to get up out of here. So another bonus, this is my custom, well not my custom, but a custom unmasked roadie head on the uh, Mark V. A War Machine armor on the far left. That custom head is from my man uh, Adrian Beltran. Uh, so hit him up if you want to cop any custom heads or anything like that. I've showed quite a few of his uh, his custom heads and in, uh, in my videos over the past couple months. And then uh, Thor, Final Battle Edition Iron Man, Final Battle Edition Captain America, and then the Avengers Endgame Thanos, who I talked about in the previous video, how they screwed up with having the gauntlet on him and how his armor is like really shiny and new. But it is what it is. That's how all of these stack up. Stay tuned for something that I want to do with War Machine display wise. And I think I'm going to take a look at the Mezco Blade too. So much fun factor, playability, all the effect parts and everything. If it was one that you wanted to grab from the movie, I would say get this one, man. I, I think it's a really, really cool figure from SHF. They redeemed themselves a little bit here with this one, even though it's basically the same figure that they gave us before with some additional uh, effect parts. But it is what it is. So thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell down there. And until next time, peace.